Hey guys, what is up? My name is Super Pig Mark, and welcome back. So, um, I was originally going to do today, um, I was going to d tell you guys my take on chores, and that video will come eventually, but I found this video on YouTube called 40 Years of Gaming Song, with parentheses around it. And it's by Dan Bull, so check that. Well, I'm about to show you. So, um, yeah, let me get onto it. When gamers came along, the planet laughed at us. But this is gaming in the future. You haven't heard the last of us. Dismissing this is just an enormous fallacy. So open your mind and let it alter your reality. Hey geeks, I bring a message from the future. There's a new revolution headed to computers. It's 73, but it won't be too long till we can get the TV to play a game apart. But it's time to break out of the house. The crazy days of space invaders await us. Arcade potatoes, what the shooting range for computer games? Arcade Renaissance, pre ape it's human days. A new decade, welcome to the 80s. Pac-Man's the latest new craze, Cubans the rage. The first personal computers let loose as manic mind a grudge time. And the fight is truly useless. Elite games, legions of we little boys. A deep space region of freedom of choice. Now here comes the console. The first one sold, more tender than industry. Off the mentioned untold. The birth of franchise, Mario Brothers. Donkey Kong, Monty Roll, Italian. So that was the song, and so there are multiple different ways to interpret this. Let me turn this off. There are multiple different ways to interpret this, like um, saying that gamers are taking over the world. But the way I interpreted it was because gamers are the amount of gamers across the entire world is growing rapidly with new hit titles like on the handhelds like Pokemon Go the upcoming Super Mario Run and breakthroughs on um 
breakthroughs on consoles like Amiibo and Amiibo, like my Charizard Amiibo, and different things like wireless controllers and 4K HD. It's becoming more and more clear that gamers aren't just something that is going to be there one day and then the next day, whoosh, out the window. No. The way I saw this was basically that, what I just said. So, when it said, um, when gamers When gamers came, the whole world laughed at us, but but now, but this is gaming in the future, and you haven't heard The Last of Us. That was one of my favorite lines, because it's basically saying that, well, yeah, we're going to get criticized and ridiculed for being gamers, but that doesn't mean we should stop gaming. I mean, I've been gaming since I was at least eight or nine or maybe even younger probably four when I started playing dinosaur video games but um like just having this channel is a huge step for me because when I first started wanting to create videos like I was having to hide my videos for my dad, but not my mom, because she already knew, I had told her, but me and my friend wanted to make, um, we wanted to make a YouTube video, and this was back in fourth grade, which was about two years ago, so... Yeah, um, the videos weren't very successful, and the email that was corresponding to the videos got taken down, so all of those you can't view anymore, because they're not even on the internet anymore. But, I kept on trying, I tried to make one, but the video was too long, so it just kept error, 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 and it's... I couldn't upload it, but then I decided that I would just do little short videos, like all of the other ones. This is probably the longest video I've made so far. I mean, it's probably not the longest I'll ever make, but this is the longest I've made so far. But, um, yeah, I was having to hide it, but now my dad knows about it, and he's cool with it. But when he found out, he was like, I don't want you to make any more YouTube stuff because you don't understand the dangers of the internet. And, by the way, I do know the dangers of the internet. That's why I took down the picture that is currently propping up the iPad um, that, that has my actual name on it so that you guys won't find out my identity. I don't want you to find out my identity. You can know my Minecraft name, but I'm not going to let you know my actual name. But, yeah. So, just ha like I said, just having this channel is a big step for me. And another thing it's saying is that, um, gamers are constantly advancing they're climbing up the scale as to the top trying to get to the top of the popularity train Fo the popularity train yep yep but it's true gamers are constantly advancing and getting more and more popular with the rise of things like YouTube and Pokemon Go, as I said, and those two just sort of 
seem to go together. Now, while Pokemon Go is slightly declining in the popularity on the popularity chain, <laughs> there people are still making extremely popular videos about the game. And so I don't think that's going to stop for a very I think that's going to go keep on going for a very long time. So, yeah. So again in the video, it mentions um various different popular game titles like the like Pong, Breakout, Mario Brothers, Minecraft, Angry Birds, Farmville, Fruit Ninja. Sadly, it didn't mention Pokemon Go, but the video was made before Pokemon Go was released, so and then it mentioned some indie games like Limbo, Super Meat Boy, Fez. You name it, it was probably in the video. So, yeah. And at the end it said, Gamers, the world is ours. What do you want to do with it? So, I think that that can also be interpreted in many ways. Like, as a person who plays Minecraft, you could interpret it as like, Oh, well, he's talking about like, what do you want to build in Minecraft? Or are you gonna like do some crazy thing in Minecraft and do it? So, yeah. And for a person who plays is more um more violent games, they could be like, what do I want to do with the world? Well, I want to make everyone understand why I like this certain game, like Call of Duty, Halo, other popular first-person shooters. And so, it just sort of branches out in different ways for people to interpret it, different gamers to interpret it. And so, yeah, you are going to get ridiculed. You're go everyone gets ridiculed every day, especially gamers, uh, as people like Jimmy Kimmel, they said, they, he said something, he said that, um, all gamers were bad-mouthed little children that like to shoot people because the top, because some of the most, um, the, some of the games that sell the most are games like Call of Duty, the first person shooter type games. But that's not true because, like, I prefer more Nintendo stuff. Like, one of my favorite game titles, again, is if you look up on my shelf, you can see Pikachu and a Master Ball, and then, and then also, I have my little Venusaur, plus some assorted stuff on my desk, like these cards. So, so th that song is a really good song. I think that you should watch it, and, um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this, then again, leave a like and subscribe, and if you want, if you want to tell me anything wrong about this video, then leave a comment in the comment section below, so that'll be all for me today, and later. Did it work?